Have you seen the oil? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was when you was revving it, obviously. In the last video, we revealed the car, drove it outside, and forgot how to use the lights. Not loud, Mark. This is supposed to be cool. However, panic set in when Mark noticed some oil underneath the car. However, after reviewing the footage frame by frame, I realised that the oil patch was already there. Phew! On to the next issue. Well, this is not great. I've just taken the Jaguar XJS for its first drive, and it's broken down. Uh, I kind of floored it out of a junction, and it's just doing absolutely nothing. It's dead. Dead as a dodo. Oh. To push it, didn't you? So I floored it, and I forgot that the battery wasn't sat properly. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I did go for it. Oh, my God. <laughs> Good old Jay. No wonder it just cut out and there's suddenly no electric. <laughs> I, I heard it burbling along lovely, then I heard a bit of acceleration, then I heard silence, and I thought... Shit, what's happened? It sounds all right, doesn't it? It sounds smooth, doesn't it? Yeah. Taking the car for a drive around a private area so that we can get it up to a little bit of speed and see what's happening. Obviously, the battery fell out. Stop laughing, Mark. It was very traumatizing, okay? All the lights are working, apart from the fog lights, and that's because they were disconnected. So Mark has taken one out and it's just been secured by a bit of wood. That'll be one thing done. And then we need to decide as well. Oh, of course, we've got the issue with the accelerator. It won't close properly. It kind of gets stuck if you do it gently. Look. I'll change the springs. WD-40 all of the cable inside the accelerator. So I'm not quite sure why it's not returning. All right, let's get this key in and see if Mark has fixed this fog light. No. Let's test if there's anything going to it. Careful with the paintwork. Oh, sorry. God, it's beautiful. Oh, something going to it then. So it could just be the bulb. Don't think I've got any spare. Let me go have a look. Will one of these work? Just to test it. We'll just see if power's going to it. I don't know what that means. What does that mean? Like, wouldn't that not just work? Um, I think the answer is no, I don't. Could you like wire it up to a torch or something? You know the interior light that's hanging out the back? Oh, the one that keeps blinding me every time I press the brake. <laughs> oh, he's done it. Yeah. There we go, okay, so, okay. but the bulbs look okay. Sandpaper? Yeah, I got some sandpaper. It's got a whole pack there, look. It's got elephants on the front for some reason. You need a little sliver. It's got elephants on the front. What I is got, that relative? I don't know, I'm just saying it has elephants on the front. Oh, you also, I was to tell everyone, you also drilled out, didn't you? Yeah, down the... Uh... Down the thing there, because it was totally corroded up. Oh, here's a lamp. Success, Mark has worked it out. There it is. So what do you think it is, Mark? Cleaning up all the terminals in there, it's all a bit... Jaguar inside, and then we need some proper connectors instead of these. Yeah, I, I think I bought the whole lot for like five pounds. Jack like Harmless stood here watching you, and you were just like struggling holding it all together. Oh, maybe I should actually help you. Yeah. Right, back in a minute. 0 0.002, and that is how much the throttle body should be open when it's closed. First thing I'm going to do is take off these pieces here and then pop off this side too. There we go. So that's those throttle pedestal pieces off. That's what moves the throttle bodies. Right, so there's no tension on that now. Tension on that though. And then we need to look in underneath here. Uh, it doesn't look too bad. There's not much gunk on there as such, but I will give it a clean around those edges. And then I will put my little thing in there to measure whatever those things are called. So I clean the butterflies on both sides to remove excess dirt that could stop it from closing properly. I also found play in these mechanisms. Down pretty much where I'm touching my torch now. That there's really loose. So when I move it, there's loads of play. I have put a grommet in there. I just kind of trimmed with my little, here it is, little standing knife, which I'll put away so I don't stab myself. Oh. I just broke it and uh, I just trimmed around the edge of the grommet. And what this means is that I could then get the inside of the grommet inside the metal there. So I'll check the other side while I'm doing it. And then we'll look at the throttle bodies and measuring them up. Okay, so I've now got grommets back in place, which means that these are opening a lot better than they were. I'm pretty sure that the sizing is wrong. If I open it, close it, it does slip straight back out. I need to adjust that, but I'm not sure which way. If it comes towards me, it's opening it. So, tighten it up ever so slightly, going that way. Let's see if that's made a difference. It was only about a quarter of a turn. Here's the one that we need. It's holding it a lot more. Right, let's go again. There we go. That is it, that is holding that in. That is the 0.05 mil, or the 0.002 inch. So you see that is now sat in the throttle body, no problemo. Exactly the same on this side. So the new battery, a lot smaller than the other one. All right, let's get this one out. There we go. That sits so much better than the other one. Mm. 
it's still sticking. Yeah, it's definitely still sticking. Yeah, it's not closing like it should be. Not being able to work it out until the next video, I moved on to the hazard lights. This is the old one, doesn't work. This is the new one. The centre section here with the trip computer, just kind of put a little, I put one of these in one side and another side a little metal pick and just kind of wiggled it out and it came out. So this piece here goes straight down the middle there. This one goes either side and this one goes this side. Right, not doing it, is it? What do my indicators now won't work? So my indicators were working, now they're not. All right, let's put the old one back in a minute. There you go, so that's working. How strange. Indicator's on and flashing. Press the hazard, switches the indicator off. Let me just see if it's the same with this other one. Looking into the issues I'm having with my hazard switch, I have been looking into all of this under here and this one here, number five, I have just changed out because it wasn't showing very good on my little reader, probably because of the grossness on the contacts. I have put the original one here and I've just put a two amp one in there. It should be three, but I haven't got any, so I'll just put that one in there just so I can change them over if I need to. I then have this one here in this empty spot. It's broken, so I'm gonna change that one. So let's put a two amp in there again, because again, I haven't got any threes. I checked and changed any others that needed doing and gave it a try. And so let's see if this is actually going to work. So my hazard switch. Oh, I hear stuff. Oh my God, I got it to work. Oh my God. I got them to work. I got the hazards to work. I've not even got my microphone plugged in. I had the music playing because I was so sure I wasn't going to do that tonight because tonight's been a bit of a pain in the ass. But oh my God, it's all working. Look. Yes, the hazards are working. That's one more thing off the list for the MOT. The wipers. Ooh, I haven't used the wipers in a while because they kept playing up. So I've not used the wipers in probably about a week. Keys in. Oh yeah, so they work. Okay, we're getting so close to finishing this car now. Do they work on different speed? Oh shit, <laughs> no they don't. How bizarre. And then where do they park? They park like halfway at the screen. Oh, what? That is weird. No way, it's not working. Oh no, it's working. No, it's not. I genuinely don't understand why this car does not want me to fix it. It honestly does not want to go back on the road. So as soon as I fix the hazard lights, literally go for the wipers and they don't work. And now it looks like the motor is dead. Even though I've just kind of not refurbished it, but I got it to work. It's just never ending with this car. I have an MOT in about 10 days. Oh my God, 10 days, 11 days. Every minute that goes by is one less chance he's going to get on the road. And the problem is that I work every day. So I'm coming up here in the evenings and just trying to crack on. And it's not working and I don't know what to do. Right, I think that's it for this video, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Please do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And please do hit that like button and comment below with some kind of, should we say, motivation. Because, oh, this car is literally being the end of me, I swear. It has been very, very difficult. Okay, gotta go. Cheers, guys. See you in the next video. Thank you.